And today what we're going to do, um, just as a quick exercise to learn how to use a line width tool with a portrait, um, so you can make some incredible artwork with this um, using your portrait, is we're going to start with a flower. Now, um, obviously if you go to the link here, you'll see there it is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that up. Now, full disclosure, I did not take this picture myself. Um, I would not publish this image and use this in my own artwork. Um, but as an exercise, I think it's fine. Just be keep in mind that you're, what you're not going to do for this project is just go online and find an image of somebody else that you didn't take a picture of. Um, so I'm going to go to Illustrator and File New. And um, go ahead. I'm going to make an image 10 by 10 inches and um, I'll go to advanced and I'll just go ahead and preemptively make that RGB now. Say okay. All right, so even though this image is clearly not um, that size, that's okay. So I'm gonna download this image and of course there it goes, it pops up over here and show in Finder and there it is in my downloads. And I think, let's see if I can just do this. If I go to Illustrator so I'm, I'm in my downloads folder and I'm just dragging this image there. Let's see, yep, there it is. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is hold down the option key and I'm gonna just make this much bigger. And it's okay, it's gonna pixelate at some point because I am making it much bigger. And I'm gonna hold down the shift key as well because what I don't wanna do obviously is make, I mean with a flower it's not that important but I don't want this to be all out of proportion. So. Um, you have to go to the corner and you have to hold down the shift key otherwise you're going to get something wonky and you can see I'm clearly setting this up so that the flower looks good not on the whole page but on the artboard I want to make sure this looks nice on the artboard so I'm, I'm resizing it so it fits well under the artboard I don't really care that I'm missing all this other stuff over here so I'll just hold down the shift key and there we go so I'm happy with that okay so now that I have that I'm going to reduce the opacity you'll see why in just a minute I'll make it about 50%. Um, and then I've got my layers palette up here. If you're like, how do I get my layers again? Go to Window, Show Layers, and make sure that's checked. Um, and there's my layers. And remember, you can take your layer and you can make it bigger, smaller, whatever. Lock this layer. Make a new layer. And this is the layer you're going to work on with the pen tool. Now, you, for this project, could, in theory, use both the pen tool, right? This one. And also the um, the pencil tool. Uh, I think both of these work really really well. It depends on your style and um, how you want to get started but in both cases what I recommend you do is before you do anything else get rid of your fill no fill right and let's make this a line of black and you want to make your stroke a little thicker so make your stroke three points alright that's kind of important so regardless of how you get started with this so obviously like I'm just looking for lines here and it's not going to be like an absolute perfect copy, but I am looking for, whoops, see, I already made a mistake there, and that looks terrible. Like ways of, if I zoom in, like I see this line is not just like a perfectly round line. In other words, I'm not going to do this, right? That doesn't look like the flower. So, you know, I can always come back and preemptively fix this stuff if I have to. But I'm, I'm looking for that the fact that you're going to spend some time making this look like the flower. So I'm adding another anchor point there, for example, so I can zoom in here and play around with this stuff, right? I see I have a little bit of like a little divot here. Add another anchor point and Oops, just made a copy of that. Anyway, you get the idea. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit. Um, use the tools you already have. If you feel more comfortable using the pencil tool, just make sure your smoothness is set to like, I recommend something really, really low. Because if you have it up at like 70% and you draw this and I trace this and try to make it look exactly like what I have, what you're going to end up with is it's, see how that like overly smooths it. You don't want that. Instead, with the pencil tool, double click, you're going to go down to like, here, um, I'm going to say um, edit selected paths and keep selected. I'll show you why. Check this out. So if I say OK to that and I draw down here and I make this all kind of show up here, yay, 
and I'm going to stop there. See how that gives me that? I can always smooth that out if I want to, but watch. If I come up back over to what I have, I want this all to be one line. See how that adds to it? Because I, I said edit selected paths. If I unclick edit selected paths and say OK, unfortunately, watch what happens. See, it makes it all, its own line, and now it's not connected. This should all be one line. All right, so so obviously I'm, I you know I still have to do work to this. Like if I say okay, Mrs. Silver, I'm done. I'm like uh, no, you're not. Like you need to go back and make this look like the line. You know whether you choose to use the smooth tool to do that. You know remember this one. So like I think I could just smooth this out just a little bit here, right? Um, or something else. That's up to you. But um, that already see how quickly I'm already making this look like the the, the flower. But I highly recommend, again, edit selected paths as a selection here. And then just remember that the path has to be selected. So, you know, if this is deselected and I try to add it, it's not going to work either because the path is not selected. See, so it's going to make its own. See, unfortunate. But all I have to do is just go back, select it, right? Go to the pencil tool and let's see if this works. Just kind of overlapping. See, away we go. Yay. See how easy that is? So, so the pen tool is great to know how to use, and you kind of have to know how to use it because you're going to have to go back, like right here, for example, and modify anchor points along the way. But I, I recommend using the pencil tool for the majority of this because I think it's quicker and more expedient and gives you better results. But I'm just going to keep going around and adding to this. But the first part of this project is just to go in and anywhere you see an edge, right? Add that outline. So now that I have that, I'm going to deselect this path because I want a new line right here and I don't want to add it to it and have it do something wonky. So I'm going to stop there, come on in, do this, right? And then I obviously am going to have more than one line right here because I have this weird kind of curve, but I'm just going to do the outline for now and go back and add the rest later. See? Pretty easy. Yes, I need to modify it, but for now, that's, that's basically what you're doing. So that's how you get started with this. And um, once you have that done, we'll walk it, you through how to use the line with tool.